Alright ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to another Hero House Reviews. Today we're looking at the Diamond Select, Muppets, Beaker, and Bunsen. Now, Beaker is unquestionably the coolest of the Muppets. Well, the most entertaining. No, he's the coolest. He's the coolest of the Muppets. And Bunsen, uh, he's kinda just there. This, like, set itself is just a re-release of, you know, an earlier set that came out a few years back. And I guess they're just giving people the chance to collect them now, because they're, yeah, releasing the entire range a second time. Which is good, unless you've already purchased them, because they've, like, mixed up the way they're being distributed. So sometimes you're gonna have to double up on figures, which sucks. But, yeah, I was very glad to be able to get these guys for their normal price, because the aftermarket on them was just ridiculous. Anyway, that's useless backstory. Uh, the figures themselves are amazing. Like, Diamond Select shit the bed with the Castlevania figures. But these guys are absolutely exquisite. The style really suits Muppets, and you just get such a good hit of accessories. So you get the table that you got with the Swedish Chef, you get another one. This one comes with a little telephone, a apparatus that holds a glass doodad. I used to know the name of this when I went to high school and did, like, chemistry stuff, but have completely forgotten. A pan with some bubbling stuff inside, and a mortar. You've also got a little cylinder. I can't even remember what these were called. Is this a beaker? I'm gonna say this is a beaker. And then test tubes in a test tube rack. I can remember test tubes at least. Hurrah for me. Uh, and then if we slide that out of the way, we have Bunsen first. As you can see, he's quite good. His clipboard is also an accessory. It's got a bit of text on there. Quite cool. And articulation wise, he can look up that much, looks down that much. Side to side, you can go full exorcist. Arm goes out to 90, bends and swivels, so it goes to 90 as well. Finger, oh, the hand rotates. No ab crunch, obviously, because of the waistcoat and design. But his legs can come out about that much. This is a soft plastic, so. You can move in spite of it, but it will hinder. So yeah, he's got knees that bend, but the coat is just going to hinder pretty much every bit of articulation because of how he's designed, which sucks. But you can get it out of the arms, and as a nerdy scientist Muppet, you're really not going to be wanting too much dynamic posing from him anyway. Also, the glasses are a little bit askew. They have been inserted into the ears, so they're not really removable either. So I would have preferred if they were straight on, because at the moment it looks like he's, you know, just eyeless and had his glasses blown to one side. Ugh, going across, we get to my main man, Beaker, the myth, the legend. His face is so well sculpted, they've really captured the panic that is Beaker's existence. Look at this guy. Reality is a nightmare, isn't it, buddy? Mm-hmm. Love it. The hair, so well sculpted. The paintwork on these guys is exquisite. The tie, I don't know if you can see, the checkering on his shirt is so good. His lab coat, excellent. His legs are longer, and oh, look at the detail they've captured on the shoes, on his pants. His knees do bend, and because his legs are longer, you'll actually see some of that. There is a swivel at the knee joint. His feet, no real pivot, but you'll get an exorcist spin out of them. His head does the exorcist spin. Arm comes out to 90. Ugh. Beaker. Don't have bad balance. Don't have bad balance. He does not have bad balance. He can stand. Hell yeah. So they've nailed Beaker. Ugh. In terms of the bend, he probably actually doesn't have that much bend in his arm. Yeah, you can get that, and then it strains out to that. So it's not a huge range of motion. You can't quite get to 90. That's a shame. Does he have a swivel at the hand? Yes, he has a swivel at the hand. So, not super articulated, but for the price you get two nicely sculpted and painted figures with decent articulation, all that is necessary for Muppets, and a good hit of accessories. So, if you're into the Muppets, or just quirky figures, this is definitely a pack you should pick up. It's a fun time. Uh, what would I rate this? The glasses on Bunsen bother me, and the articulation isn't fantastic. They haven't got as many accessories as the Swedish Chef, but they've still got a nice little hit. Uh, I'm going to rate this a 4.5 out of 5. They could have just tweaked a little more things and it would have been perfect, but it's still a load of fun and definitely something to grab if you're a fan of the Muppets. 
let's dive into pictures and wrap this up in one sec. Okay, folks, and there you have it, the Diamond Select, Beaker, and Bunsen. Really fun. I mean, these Muppet guys, I love these figures. They're just so well executed, and if you're creative, you can get lots of fun scenarios out of them. So yeah, strongly recommend. 4.5 out of 5. Don't really have much more to say about them, so I guess we'll wrap this up. If you enjoyed this review, then we have plenty more that are updated frequently. We've also got Hero House, The Wreckers, Figure Fights, Top 10 lists, and Ranking lists. so loads of content to enjoy. So please like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you again. Thanks for your time, and all the best. Bye!